hello good morning good afternoon and good evening um we're just gonna jump right into this um hopefully this whole situation with drake and kendrick is over with for those who haven't noticed somebody has gotten shot and yeah they've been dragged into this bs so we don't know the whole full story but i do know i hope that it's over with so hopefully we'll get some input and insight on this somebody and get somebody else's word on this beef might be in open so you know we'll just go ahead and take a look at this video real quick let's get it all right hey everyone anthony fantano here internet's busiest music nerd i hope you're doing well yep beef ah. watch 2024 it's a thing that is still ongoing uh, it's reached a very interesting place and peak as of right now with the release of uh, drake's latest contribution to the back and forth that would be the heart part six which uh, as i've already said before on live uh, title wise okay. is just a genius move on his part to sort of troll kendrick in that way and uh, down the road potentially deprive him of the <laughs> ability of uh, writing a song with the same title which he will most likely put out his yeah. own heart part six at some point but uh, now whenever he does uh, eventually drop it it's not going to be able to to hit the streets as it were uh, without giving us a reminder of this situation this moment in time right here what i want yeah, to do know, with right? this video is not necessarily tell you guys who i think is winning or like uh who's had the best bars and the best songs in this back and forth so far so far i don't even i can't even like put a finger on who's winning what only thing i know is i i would side with drake if it was a, not drake um kendrick if it was like something a deciding factor and everything i mean kendrick has that in your face type deal you know i always side with kendrick kendrick i'm more the ly lyrically you know the lyrically astounded person but at the same time you know drake he also has you know he's like the pretty boy you know on the cover he gives you hits and all the other stuff and everything me i don't like being all flashy and stuff like that i mean as you can as you can tell i don't like being all flashy i mean i don't want to be playing jane but at the same time i want to sit up there and like move the playing field to a certain favor when you have like that height of lyricism you know that kendrick has so i mean i want to sit up there and say i want i want to like both so bad but because i'm so lyrically inclined to an artist i side with kendrick a little bit more so you know that's my preference i know some a whole lot of people out there are, are talking about drake this drake that or kendrick is, you know he's not better and I, yeah I, we get all that we get all of that but hopefully this mess is over with and you know it's spilling too much i just say it like that it's spilling out too much i'm not here to go over any of these tracks line by line in fact i've been doing that on my tnd streams channel this video instead is going to be a larger commentary on the state of this beef right now and just it's an observation of the supremely dark and strange place that this is all headed in because here's the thing while for sure it is true uh, that this beef this back and forth with kendrick and drake uh, has been a long time coming has been something that pretty much uh, from Fans of each artist, I think a lot of people have been looking forward to seeing, mostly because uh, Drake is so huge, Kendrick is so huge, and each of them respectively represent uh, two very different sides and vibes That's exactly what I was just uh, within saying. the hip-hop sphere. And just them going toe-to-toe -to -toe would actually show artistically who's actually the best, who's actually the most uh, relevant, who's actually the, the king of hip-hop right now in this day and age, to put it bluntly. And and it seemed like at first that's the direction things uh, were were gonna go. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was like that at first. On like that with Metro Boomin and Future, uh, that he's the best. And that's what I was getting at. Like that's what I was pretty much was saying. 
it started off that way but it's like now it's like spilling out to something else different but you know i'm not even gonna go full-on commentary and everything we already got his commentary going on so i'm we're gonna just let this roll a little bit longer and stuff like that there's no big three it's just big him and then cole getting involved and dipping out and drake uh firing back after that with push-ups i mean for sure at some point this beef was going to get personal and some ugly things about drake that uh have been shared and rumored in the music industry yeah. for a long time, <laughs> for a long uh, time. would probably come up uh kendrick uh usually leads a pretty private lifestyle but that doesn't mean that there aren't skeletons in his closet we could be potentially learning new stuff about him as a result of all of this even True. though that kind of stuff getting dragged out was most likely inevitable because that's the kind of stuff that tends to get dragged out in beefs i still assumed on some level like ultimately Ultimately, what this was going to come down to was just a show of talent. Who could write the better bars? Who could write the better song? Who could deliver the most scathing disses? But right now, this has so moved beyond that to the point where th this is not about artistry. This is not about songwriting. This is not about who's more barred up at all. What <laughs> Kendrick and Drake are currently engrossed in is this vicious and relentless smear campaign against each other, this mutual destruction of each other's reputations. And as a result, accusations True. are flying by at a million miles an yeah, hour left in and right. both directions left and, right. and we like have little to no confirmation on whether or not the vast majority of any of it is even real for the fans just like the artists it's not even coming down to whether or not one artist is making better songs than the other it's it's about whether or not one is slandering the other <laughs> in a more superior fashion and and who's actually for those who didn't see that down at the bottom. Basically, he said that um, Not Like Us is basically is basically becoming a, it's becoming an actual, you know, club banger. We like have little to no confirmation on whether or not the vast majority of any of it is even real. For the fans, just like the artists, it's not even coming down to whether or not one artist is making better songs than the other. It's there it is. Let me get rid of this. Let's see here. I don't know, man. Not like us is doing very well as a club banger. Yep, that's what everybody been telling me, and I've heard it. And yeah, it's becoming a you know, it's taking everybody by storm, and it looks like that's the well. You some people said the dagger came from Euphoria, but then it just seems like this right here was like the difference maker and putting it in the coffin and stuff. So. I don't know. Leave your, you know, give me your comment, your thoughts and stuff in the comment section or whatever, because I want to know what y'all thoughts are. But so far, that's it's doing very well from what I'm seeing on the internet. It's been doing very well, and then he actually turned around and made a music video over it too. So, ugh, yeah, why not? It's, it's about whether or not one is slandering the other <laughs> in a more superior fashion and, and whose accusations are sticking and landing harder. And people seem to be uh, aligning themselves based on their preconceived notions of the other person and buying into certain narratives more easily uh, based on whether or not they uh, tend to like uh, the guy on one side or the guy on the other side. I mean, uh... let's start with Kendrick here since uh, his accusations against Drake uh, have been some of the most viral on most, the internet yes, and the most. are going pretty far. He alleges literally in his latest track, Not Like Us, uh, that Drake is a downloader of PDF files. And for sure, as somebody who has followed Drake's career pretty closely over the past decade plus, I understand where <laughs> that perception comes from. Given his multiple documented interactions, uh, public or otherwise, that he's had with women who haven't yeah. quite turned 18 yet. There's also yeah. that wild video of him live from years ago where he kisses that 17-year-old yeah, girl that going on stage around too. and continues to have uh, very odd interactions and 
comments about her even after he learns uh, how old she is. So again, I understand why these suspicious looks would be thrown Drake's way vis-a-vis -vis this, but uh, as of right now, there are no confirmed cases of Drake uh, doing of anything along the lines of being uh, an actual PDF file guy. On Not Like Us, Kendrick yeah. also names members of That's Drake's a nice way team of putting it, by the and way. accuses them of similar things too, uh, also throwing hardcore drugs into the mix as well. Even with these songs going as viral as they have, uh, we still have no true confirmation that any of this nope. is in fact true nope. and you have to wonder does kendrick actually have the receipts to back anything he's saying up or uh, is he just kind of going off of rumors there is of course also the allegation which we will get into uh, in a little bit that drake uh, has another child uh, that he's not only uh, just hiding from the public but apparently like not involved uh, in the life of an 11 year old girl and while i have seen uh, some various yeah, commentators I, on the to internet me. uh uh, talking about a few individuals that that might possibly be her at this very moment, there's still no confirmation that that is even true. So as well put together and conceived and compelling uh, as uh, the tracks that Kendrick has made against uh, Drake are, it's important to remember at the end of the day, um, the, 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 there's been nothing so far to actually prove if uh, what Kendrick is throwing out there is actually 110% the truth. Which uh, again, even if the songs are good and entertaining and they're going after a guy that maybe a lot of people in rap music have been seeing want to just kind of fall down for a while, if he's not going off the truth, that's kind of a, a misuse of his influence. Then on the other side, there's Drake, who has thrown yep. out numerous accusations against Kendrick uh, in his uh, Family Matters video and single in this latest one he's just put out the hard part six that i just mentioned and it's a laundry list it's uh that kendrick is a uh, fake woke that he's moved to new york uh, he's not with his family anymore he's broken up with whitney uh one of the kids that she's had uh is actually uh that of his uh creative partner and manager dave free and uh, on top of it kendrick mm. Uh, was uh, physically abusive to his uh, partner, uh, Whitney, at one point. And as damning and as scathing uh, and, uh, you know, potentially career ending as a lot of these accusations are, uh, these are yet to be fully confirmed too. Especially as Drake makes the claim, wow. that, oh yeah, we leaked the information to you and you ran with it and now you're embarrassed. Which like, in my mind, no goddamn way that's true. If it was my <laughs> prerogative to trick someone into saying something false about me through another channel or whatever, you would be damn well sure that I would have whatever phone calls or DMs over which that happened recorded, screenshotted, and then ready the moment that that person lied about me to share to the world. Like there's there's only one way in which that trap, that dupe actually works. It's when you actually pull the trigger and you show the world that this guy is an idiot who's lying about you and believed false information that you told him. You don't wait days and days and yeah. days down the road to actually spill this information. And number True. two, Drake did have a genuine... A he denied claims of 11-year-old daughter. Let's see. If anybody can find proof that, he, that I have 11-year-old daughter, I'll quit rapping. I'll come work for you. <laughs> that way he actually told that way he actually told a streamer. Wow. Wow. Like this is like some bold, some bold moves from, you know, well, in this case, a bold move from Kendrick. But all of it is just rumors. We don't know exactly what's what right now, you know? It's like the whole. It's like the whole Spider-Man meme. You know, one person pointing that he pointing at him. Oh, no, that's you. No, that's you. That's you. That's you. No, man, we don't know. We don't know. Like everybody's just going off rumors right now. I mean, it's part of the. I mean, it gets you, gets you seen more, and it's like more publicity when it comes up to the disc or whatever like that. So I get it. But at the same time, it's like a whole lot of people that's outside, like a lot of people that's outside of outside looking in. They go actually try to be like, yeah, he kind of know about it. He's saying it. I believe him. Blah, blah, blah. And all this. No. I mean, me, 
I'm not going. I'm not the type that's going to take it and run with it. You know, type of guy. I got. I need confirmation with my own eyes, my own ears, and you know, I need confirmation that way in order to figure out. You know, if he if he got a daughter around. You know, all the stuff with Kendrick, him doing all the stuff. I, I, hey, I got to be around. So, you know. Initial, very quick reaction to the allegations that he has an 11 year old child. And that was in this random Instagram story where he's like, oh, no, no, nah. I, I don't have a kid. No, what are you telling me about this kid that I have? I don't even know. Like, again, obviously, he was paying attention to the whole thing go down. If he actually had that yeah. information or if that was his strategy all along, wouldn't that be when you announce to the world, aha, I tricked, I tricked you. you. So I think he's just saying it now on this track to uh, fucking cope. But uh, that doesn't mean that maybe uh, other stuff that he's saying couldn't be real. And that doesn't know, necessarily true. mean that everything Kendrick is saying is uh, the truth either. Because at the end of the day, with Kendrick's lyrical ability, his mastery of songwriting that Drake just doesn't have on the same level, Kendrick could just be a better liar than Drake is. I mean, that's the thing. Could Drake be. could just be really shitty at lying no, because I, I don't think he's as conniving not ain't gonna hold you that could be a that could be a nice nice way to looking at it too you know hey could be i'm not ruling anything out it could be that way too you know i'm hoping not but i'm hoping <laughs> i'm hoping it's not true as he thinks he is or maybe some people thinks he is how is this man baited into leaking his own dms with a cookie recipe it's beyond me but it happened and if drake did yeah, actually leak stupid. this in information to kendrick and that was his plan um i had i guess it would be uh you know v very drakesian of him to uh, uh do that and not actually record any of the proof that you tricked him there's also been a viral tweet that people have been uh, going crazy about uh from whitney's brother her own brother uh supporting kendrick in the midst of this beef and oh, i can't really? imagine that if uh my sister per se uh were getting uh, attacked violently uh by the father of her children uh who was involved in a rat beef that i would be coming out publicly uh, to support him in that beef after what he allegedly did to my sister as i get to the close of this video i would like to mention uh, that there are some signs uh, around and out there that maybe this whole thing is drawing to a close we recently I had so. td punch hopping on twitter to say uh, what just happened was a good battle which i feel like is something you could only say if you have uh, knowledge that the whole thing is is done at this point yeah, and then there's true. also drake with his most recent response the the more I digest it, the more it's pretty clear that he's really playing defense on this track, and that's pretty much it. His delivery isn't that fiery or intense across the track either, not like in the way that it was during the first section of Family Matters. And know, toward right? the very last moments of the track, he's just really kind of talking his way through it, and it kind of sounds like he's... Uh, ready to be just checked out totally and done with this thing so drake may in fact not even have the will or the desire to engage with this any further even if kendrick drops four or five six more tracks and secondly as much as the internet has Which changed I think some more. and uh, the public's perception of it over the years i think one thing still holds true and that's the the main goal of the whole thing uh, for there to just be a winner and if drake concedes by essentially ignoring kendrick past this point he's taking the l and the more this thing focused <laughs> down on kendrick and simply kendrick the less drake seemed to care maybe due to the big body blows his reputation uh, was taking over and over and over throughout this thing and also maybe because doing this sort of thing mano e mano uh, direct with no subliminals to uh, save him or give him the benefit of the doubt uh, this <laughs> is a position that drake is just not comfortable in in his music typically when it comes to disdain he has for others uh, for beef generally he likes to pocket that and hide that into just, you know, kind of uh, little singular quiet mentions. And on top of it, uh, dude loves to paint this image of the entire industry being against him, which is a narrative that's hard to live in when what the internet really wants to see is a one on one boxing match. Let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, in regards to all of this. You guys are the best. Over here next to my head is a link that you can hit to subscribe to the channel, check out another video, and I'll see you in the next one. Anthony. All right. That was decent stuff. Decent stuff. All right. But yeah, let me know in, down in the comment section which hide y'all feeling because that was like straightforward.
you know, and everything like that. So, yeah, it was a nice little brief video and everything like that for those who don't know what's going on and everything like that. But, yeah, I just just want to make sure everybody is caught up and everything. I, he didn't mention he probably didn't do the he probably didn't catch up with the information on that. He probably. 22 hours so like two more hours would be so yeah this was like well well before um the whole shooting and everything like that so yeah he didn't he didn't have time to, to put that in there because he you know he was pretty much was like making this video as we speak like yesterday so other than that i'll see y'all in the next video make sure you hit the like subscribe and yeah, tune in to the next video. Peace.